Now, I've been taking calls all morning from people who want to vote independent. Wackos and fringe dwellers are the, I call the independents, uh, but they're going to be powerful wackos and fringe dwellers. I don't know why you want to vote for them. I think I know. I think it's sheer frustration with the major parties. But the news poll today in The Australian shows that 27% of the voters could be voting for independents or minor parties. That puts them in an extraordinarily powerful position because if Labor or Liberal are going to form government, then they're going to have to rely on some of these independents who will have a huge say in what goes on, well above um, their pay grade in the sense that they're independents, perhaps running on a particular topic, and then suddenly they'll, uh, they'll be effectively a member of Cabinet saying, tick, cross, tick, cross, yes, you can do that. On the line, Morgan Jonas is running as an independent Senator of Victoria. Morgan Jonas, good morning. Uh, g'day, Neil. How come you're calling all these independent wackos? Because not very nice. No, it's not nice. Are you, what makes well, you say that? What about the major parties, mate? Look what they've done to this country. I, I reckon they're the wackos. Yeah, there's a bit of truth in that too. But tell me, what's your, what's your platform? All right, righty. So I'm running as an independent for the Senate. I think Australia needs more independent voices, especially in the House of Review. All right, so we're talking about farming. We want to save our farms. We've lost a lot of farms over the past 15 years in Victoria, as you're probably aware. We're running on manufacturing. We used to be a great manufacturing country. We want that back. Uh, we also consider the government is too big and involved in too many areas of our lives. We're sick and tired of the woke agendas, especially in classrooms, and we're absolutely sick and tired of the jab mandates. We want them banned. We want them outlawed. Well, they're just about gone anyway. Um, OK, how are you going to save farms? All right, rightio. So farmers haven't given, been given a voice. So I've been consulting with a lot of farms from all, all around regional Victoria. They're all telling me the same thing. The result of government policy has caused a major, major exodus of small and uh, family-owned farms. Uh, over regulation, over taxation, there needs to be a massive spotlight. So what are you uh, going to do? Shined on that. What are you going to do? And also you tell me what's wrong. What are, you, what are you going to do? OK, so rightio. As you're probably aware, unless we can hold a balance of power in the Senate with like-minded people, we can't do anything. OK, so first thing, we need good independence and people who are on the side of freedom and up the Senate in the Senate so that we can put pressure on the White House to actually pass legislation that gives them a hand up. We want to see them with tax exemptions. We want to see them being being able to access viable water. And if we're unable to make that balance of power, then I'll just keep shouting it from the rooftops and give as many people a voice. Who have been affected by how it. much? How much? What, what sort of tax exemption would you give them? What would that cost? Rightio. So they they need a hefty exemption, maybe what, for years hefty? on end. These how are much? our primary. These are our primary what, producers. How much? how much? Okay. Well, the thing is, in order to allow them to get back, I mean, I think they should have a tax exemption for maybe five years. Let what, them get back on track. They've been no so tax. hard by COVID. Okay, pay and no if you tax. look at the spending of the government, it's absolutely disgusting. Oh, don't look at like the a politician already just ignoring there. the question. You're just like a no, politician not, already. Look, You're ignoring look at, the look question. Look at how much money the government are you is wasting. Saying, are you, We're spending oh, for $45 million sake. a year on these is... lifetime pensions of these former MPs that are running around the country. They're taking first-class, business-class trips, 40 trips no, a year. Not. That's been changed. It, oh, yes, they are, mate. Have you, have you ever looked at the Life Gold Pass? You aware of what that it's is? It's changed. It has changed. Now, tell me, though. No, no, there's answer people the still question. on it, Neil. Answer there's, No, 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 answer. no, mate. You need answer. to do your research. There's people still on it. And I'm this is what Australians have had an absolute gut pull off. Will you answer the They've question? They've had an absolute you... gut pull. The government's wasting all You've... of this money, and they're allowing our primary producers to go you, down the you're, drain. You're, you're, right. wasting, you're wasting our time unless you answer some questions. No, I'm not, what, I'm not wasting you... anyone's time. People want to hear from independence, Neil. Okay? Not if they talk this sort of garbage. Answer the question. The tax exemption for farmers... What do you mean garbage, farmers, mate? The, the, what do you mean tax... garbage? I mean, you're the, the bloke ta- that oh. has been attacking people for protesting during lockdown. Ah. You've been on a nice... Business ah, business. were you one of the protesters? Of course I've been a protester. Ah. Where were you during lockdown? On a I nice big working. income, not affected at all. Yeah, I was. I was lucky. Poking fun at people who had lost their jobs. I wasn't poking fun at anybody. Were you out there urinating oh, on the shrine? Oh, no, you were... Were you urinating what? on the shrine? What? Is there any proof that a protester urinated on the shrine, or are you just making stuff up? No, a lot of it was, it was people saw it firsthand. But right. I'm what not evidence so, I, do you have? If you're going to make you an there? accusation like were you that, there? Take it up. Were you there? I've been protesting throughout this entire time in Victoria. Did you protest at the shrine? Through all the lockdowns. Sorry? Did you protest at the shrine? I've been at the shrine during protests. What does that mean? Did you Did protest you... the lockdowns? No, I didn't. Did you protest no, of course you would have, because your income hasn't been affected. 
Did nice you six-figure process- income. It's easy to poke fun at people who've lost their jobs when you're sitting pretty. I, I, look, you can abuse me as much as you like, but I have not... Oh, well, you I, abuse people every day, Neil, so it's about time someone gave it back to you. I have not poked fun at people who lose their and jobs. And Australians need a bit of fire, you know? I would, they're I sick would of never, the major parties. They're sick of the one-side mainstream media. I would never, and we need ever, an independent ever, oversight yeah. body to hold okay. the mainstream media Let's accountable. Let's get back to that so question that then. Are you, are, you, are you telling me that farmers would be exempt from tax for five years? Is that it? No, I'm, I'm not making any promises because here's the thing, Australians are sick of promises. You've got the major parties saying, we'll do this, we'll do that, and half the time they don't even intend on coming through on those promises. It's just the campaign talking point. But how do we know so what we're my voting campaign, for? My campaign is not based on empty promises. My campaign is based on telling Australians exactly what I stand not, for. You're so not they doing know that. But so you're not doing that, Morgan. You're not telling us what you, if they vote you, for me. you are not telling us what you stand for because you're not answering basic questions. No, who, I am who, answering questions. You're just well, choosing answer, not to listen. Answer the question just, on I'm, tax exemptions then. Who will be exempt for how long and at what level? Well, that's the thing. We need to consult with the farmers okay. and find out okay. what would best do okay. them. So we don't know. Okay. We don't know. Righto. We don't know. Well, what we don't, we, you we know? don't know. No, you don't know. You haven't answered. What? Two, oh, no, no, how much, I'm actually how much answering are you your cut? questions. You're choosing not to listen. You see, you're used to railroading people, Neil. Okay, the old guard's out. Australia is turning towards independent media now, and platform, t- platforms like yours, they're going to be phased out. Is that it? Yeah. You finished? You finished? Thank you very much are for you? talking. No, I, I think right. you're talking... I think you're just a smart-ass talking garbage, to be frank, and the people who vote for you are as silly as you are, Morgan. Thank you very much. Morgan Jonas, independent candidate for Senate. I mean, seriously. Authorised by Monica Smith, Reignite Democracy Australia, Melbourne.